Hi, I'm Tim Spillane and I paint on copper. I'd like to welcome you to my studio here in Chester County, Pennsylvania. And what I want to do is just introduce you to the idea of painting on copper. This is a sheet of copper. It's uh, actually a piece of Revere Copper, a domestic manufacturer of copper here in the United States. And this is a piece of 16 ounce cold rolled copper made by Revere. And what I love about it, of course, is copper has a natural luminosity to it. And you know, if you just if you just kind of tilt it and turn it, you can see how the light moves across it. It already and it also already has a really rich and wonderful color tone to it, that deep red brown. Here you this is the back of the painting. You can see it's just a piece of, of copper, or actually another piece of Revere copper, just like we showed you before. And as I flip it over, we have a winter scene. And you have the juxtaposition of these cool tones, the, uh, the white snow, the light blue on the, on the aspen trees. And then you have just that contrast with the bright hue of copper coming through there, that warmth that I think works so well. And what's really neat about copper is that it changes as light travels across it. And so that if you're in a room and you're looking at this painting from one place or another or at different times of the day, the painting itself takes on a different character, you know, and if we just kind of move it like this or something like that, you get the idea of how light just goes across there and changes the very nature of the painting. But this is the weathering process, an example of the weathering process. This is actually a downspout that was taken from an old house. I just cut this piece out. And again, what's cool about it is just the suggestive possibilities. If I was just going to do a small painting on this, might just work in this rectangle right here. See, I have this already this, this verdigris, the blue-green hue comes up, then it changes to a dark through there, and then changes back again. And so this painting has already started, and I haven't even done anything yet. I haven't picked up a brush. So that's just part of the wonderful uh, aspect of copper. Unfortunately, you might not have access to salvage copper if you wanted to do a painting. And, uh, so if you took a new sheet of copper, it's still going to it's going to take 20 years for that to begin that that verdigris process. So what you can do is a chemical application of a patina. Now this is just this is not a finished painting, but the reason I'm showing this to you is if you just take note, this is an applied patina here in the background. And so it's this is part of a study for a much larger painting which I have since finished and sold, but what I like about this is now the copper sheen is completely taken out and it's filled in with what suggests to be just the uh, background of foliage by that application of patina. Well by applying a patina onto that, just kind of splattering on there, it gave me the suggestion of, well, maybe I could do something really kind of contemporary and fun with this. And I did, so I allowed the bright copper and the, and the patina to work together to create something which is probably different than anything you've ever seen before. And there you have just kind of a contemporary splatter painting, if you will. And I think it's just a lot of fun. You can do landscapes, you can do this contemporary kind of stuff. And copper, for me, has been a wonderful support for oil painting. So again, I'm Tim Spillane, and you can find out more about me and my work at paintedcopper.com.